certainly here in Australia, um, we're at record unemployment lows right now. Um, we've actually dipped below 4%. Um, and, uh, and it continues to drop. Um, as we think about skills, reskilling, upskilling, um, you know, what would you recommend to organizations in Australia and New Zealand in regards to skills and how to best recognize, leverage them uh, to help navigate this new way of working? Yeah, you know, that's, that's such a great question. Um, as, as you know, we really are seeing this massive pivot from the job as the currency of work to the sk to skills as the currency of work. And what I think it drives is a much greater level of agility in organizations as they shift from that one-to-one -one relationship between a job and a job holder to the many-to-many -many between the unique bundle of skills that Cynthia versus Robin and the many different ways in which we could contribute um, and I, what we're seeing is that greater agility is allowing organizations to move, to, to think of talent as being much more, I, I, I want to say fungible, but fungible uh, doesn't quite capture it, but recognizing that we have more utility players and talent who can contribute in so many different ways beyond what we might have traditionally limited them to with a job. And I think it's really at the heart of what is, I know, um, You've been talking to many organizations about the Cynthia's. It's why the internal talent marketplace is becoming such a, I don't know a phrase, hot phenomenon. Um, and it's, it's not just hot because it's a fad, but it's because it's time is here. And as we see organizations move from that one-to-one -one relationship and those architectures of jobs, job holders to seeing the value of talent being deployed to work more seamlessly through projects and assignments and gigs alongside jobs, what we're seeing are these massive gains in productivity with various clients um, as they move in that direction and as they start to see you know, skills really manifesting as being the currency for work in their enterprises.